pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, we have the secretary perform a roll call attendance, please. Here. 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 Okay. All the board members have received the minutes from the September 8th meeting. Um, if there's no questions uh, regarding the minutes, uh, entertain a motion to accept the minutes as read. I'll so make moved. Second. Okay, motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion nope. carries. Okay, our first item on the agenda this evening is public hearing regarding back to health yoga. I get a motion to open the public hearing. So moved. I'll second that. Okay, motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We have the uh, applicant if come up to the podium and just give a brief description of what you're proposing to do at your home. Good evening. My name is Christina Roy. Uh, I'm a resident at 6 Broadway Avenue in Chelsea, and um, I specialize in yoga for back care and scoliosis, and I would like to offer um, small group classes in my home as well as uh, private sessions that are geared toward helping people with um, back issues um, through the use of yoga. Okay. Um, okay, so really have, we've pretty much, I think, hashed out all the items at the last meeting. So um, I'm going to open up the floor to public comment. Um, if there's anybody from the public that wishes to comment on this application, please come forward. Hi, my name is uh, Sean Monagle. I live in Wappingers Falls in the, uh, the Montclair townhouse community. And I've been a student. State your, state your name and legal address. Sean please. Monagle. And it's 7 Alpine Drive, apartment A. Okay, thank you. And uh, I've been a student of Christina's for four years, and she is a superb yoga teacher, a great asset, and I hope that I wanted just to show up tonight to voice my uh, ardent support of her application for this, um, this permission, this, this, her application for this parking space and the studio. Um, I think it would be a great asset to the community. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, is, uh, is there anyone else? Come on up to the podium. Hi, um, my name is Maureen Garmetko. I'm a neighbor of Christine's. And, Your um, address, please. For oh, sorry. I'm a neighbor. And uh, basically, oh, I'm sorry? To Broadway. So um, it seems like a nice thing she's adding to the community. Our only concern was um, parking. This is just, you know, when it, it does snow, the plows do leave a lot of snow to the side of the road. And um, we just wanted to uh, see that um, possibly there'd be adequate parking so that that's not um, a problem. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Okay, is there anyone else? Okay, um, seeing that there's no one else, um, entertain a motion to close the public hearing. I'll make that. Second. Okay, motion made a second, all in favor? Uh -oh. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Okay. Um, just for the record on the parking issue, uh, the parking issue has been addressed by both um, the planner and the engineer um, that, you know, all parking would be on site. That's just per the application. 
I just wanted to clarify that. Um, so at this time, uh, if the board has uh, reviewed the resolution as drafted by the planner, um, I'll entertain a motion to approve the special use permit. So moved. Second. Okay. Um, just with one note, there are some some uh, spelling errors that need to be corrected. So basically, there'll be no changes to it. It'll just be the correction of the spelling errors, which I just wanted to make a note on the, on the record about. So we have a motion. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is there any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. So your application has been approved. Um, after tonight, just reach out to the building department office and they will guide you through the next steps. Okay? Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right. Okay, our next item on the agenda this evening is a discussion regarding Red Cedar Nursery for an amended site plan. I'll get started. So my name is Michelle Zerfus with Berger Engineering. Huh? And this is Hold my um, oh. Yeah, okay. No. Hi, I'm Michelle Zerfus with Berger Engineering. And I'm here for Red Cedar. It's a modified site plan, and with me is also Steve Steve Relia is the applicant. And basically this was the plan that you approved a little over a year ago, and he's decided to make some changes to the plan. He's changed the fence, which was going to be vinyl to... It's going to be vinyl now, right? It's, no, it's going to be no, wood now. No, 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 it was, it was okay. vinyl originally. It's, it's been installed. Gotcha. <clears throat> so this is the wood fence along the south mm -hmm. wall. Our south side. 
or the north side, that's the one along the north side, and this is the back side of the one on the south side that's already weathering. Cool. And it, before it was going to be white vinyl, so this should be a better yeah, site. Better. The bioretention is in, and the fence has been eliminated because there's this extra space around it that will keep people from driving in. There's obvious delineation. The lights that had been back here, pole lights, have been moved forward. Okay. On, on those lights, there were, those fixtures were changed out from the original approval? Yes, I'm going to get there. We don't, I don't have them yet on the plans, but I'll get the light. Do provide us with a... I'll provide um, you with the ISO lines. Okay. I think they might have been in one of the pictures. So I see the back side of one right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're a downward cast you yep. know, fixture with the, the bulb underneath, so, it, so it's not as modern looking. But yeah, to reflect the light downward. Right, but it does have the, the downward, a little. The upper cover to keep the light pointed down. Okay. okay. The islands, too, or something? Hmm? The islands they were hitting? They wanted to get rid of them. Yeah, they took those out. That's that's okay. the other item they were asking about was the islands. Yes, the islands yeah. used to be just in the existing parking lot. Cool. Like over in here and up over in here. And when he pulled them, he did find it was just <coughs> curves sitting on top Wait of asphalt. Because if you go out there, you can tell it was, it was okay. old asphalt. So it yep. really didn't make much sense to do anything else. You know, the landscape here. Originally, there were going to be four trees along here, and now there's six have been planted. There had the four hawthorns original plus two dogwoods. The other, the big, what I call the big environmental improvement, is that the there was going to be a fueling station, fueling area right here, with the yeah. gas tanks and pumps. Yeah. And that's now been eliminated. Okay. So, so all the changes made have been to try to improve it. Some bins were removed from here, and instead they're going to make a bin back here because the grading works better. Okay. So that was an addition in the back. That yeah, it had before there had been bins, like these bins over here, there had also been bins over here on this side, up against this fence, running the same direction as this line, back over here, and it's just been moved to over in the corner. Okay. All right. Um. So those are the the changes. Okay, just look at through your summary sheet that uh, you had submitted. All right. So, now, any of the board members have any questions regarding the regarding them? You know these these you know there's a few changes I guess to the plans. We like it. Yeah. Steve, it looks so much nicer. are you going to be wholesaling or retailing any uh, mulch or plants or anything out of that? Uh, not too much. No. We you know what happened is a bunch of uh, people started coming in and realized that we don't really have time right now. Would that have to be a separate application if he changes to go to retail or wholesale? Well, the site is approved for retail. It is. Yeah. No, you will retail, yes, yards, mulch, and stuff, absolutely. But not on a grand scale right now. Yeah. So you won't be wholesaling to whole, uh, nurse, you know, um, yeah, landscapers and stuff? To, uh, yes, other landscapers. Yeah. You do? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Based on your. Um, Short form with the environmental assessment form is the, uh, as far as you know, is the well in good shape? The, the, the well's in good shape and it actually used to be a buried well. Excuse me, the well and, and septic is what I meant to say. Yeah. Um, the existing septic for this building is right here and it's in good shape. 
the well for both buildings is right here. It used to be buried or under, in a vault underground. It's been raised up, and now it has a protective island around it. And there's a tree there added. And then for the barn, a brand new septic was put in back here that's been approved by the health department. Great, thank you. Okay. Anybody else? No. I have no problem with any nope, of these. No, I love it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. It does look good. Great. Yeah. Yeah. It does look good. It's a big improvement from uh, what was originally there. Okay. So. Um, all right. You did receive the letter from the uh, from the planner's office. No, we haven't. Okay. Um, we'll get you a copy of of his. He he had a couple of things just. Um, not that it was anything of any major, it just, it just, he's just asking for the dimensions of the proposed parking spaces and drive aisle in the parking area. I guess that was, okay. yeah, just a standard, just yes. to show that you have, you know, adequate width. Um, and the applicant is proposing not to include, um, previously approved land, landscape islands, but we just talked about that. So that's a non-issue. Uh, and then they're just asking to have a bulk table put on it. Okay. Which I'm assuming it could be updated and brought over from the, the previous plan. Yes. Okay. All right. So, with all those items said, what's everybody's uh, feeling with this application for the amendment? Mm -hmm. so, do we yeah. want to send this to the planner to have him draft the resolution yes. of approval for the yes. amendment? Absolutely. Okay. All right, somebody want to make that motion? I'll make it. Second. Okay, motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, any opposed? All right, so motion carries. Bruce, do you want to waive a public hearing or do you want to have one? Um, that's true, to too. Waive yeah, it. Google, yeah. Somebody want to make a motion to waive the public hearing? I'll make the motion. I'll second, second that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, any opposed? All right, so the motion carries. So here at this point, you're all set. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So and they were to the end of the agenda. Is there anyone that has anything they wish to discuss at this time? Okay. So being there's none, let's uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make it. Okay. Motion made and seconded. Second. second. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Good Good All right, so motion's made. Say you all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you.